guys, it's Ajo Joss here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a pretty cool storage room that I built the other day. I thought it would be really cool, and I thought you guys might want to build it yourself. It's pretty cool. So, first thing you're going to want to do is build two, uh, uh, three up logs or whatever, three blocks high of just logs. And then what you're going to want to do is place uh, a double chest, another double chest, and another one straight up against it. And then build a back wall of whatever type of wood you want. I like oak. And then you do the same exact thing. And then you can repeat that for however far you want. I'm going to build it. How many am I going to build it? Let's see. I'll do one more. There we go. And then we do the same on the other side. Right there. Right there. Almost done. It's actually a pretty basic storage room, and then at the end, we're going to have furnaces. Oh, crap. There. So there's your wall of furnaces to cook. Let's put all of our storage chests in. Bam, bam, bam. Here we go, looking good. Just fill those in. And this is actually going to hold a lot of items, so... It's all going to be pretty close to each other, so you won't have to be running around looking for stuff. So that's good. Place that there, there, and there. You're actually going to have to have a lot of wood to build this, because that's a lot of logs, and it's a lot of wood to make some chests. So you're going to have to be prepared. It could probably take anywhere between a few stacks of oak logs. I like oak. Uh, you could actually probably use spruce, too. Spruce looks pretty good. And I'm going to have some automatic lights on the roof so you can uh, flip a switch and it'll turn on automatically, like timed. So that's why I have the redstone and stuff. So now we need to add a back so it actually looks pretty nice because you can see through the chest. And we're going to put some carpet in. This carpet looks nice. I like brown. Brown is my favorite color of wool that you can use for carpet. And it actually looks really nice in this. You're going to have to put a roof and everything on it. Uh... Probably uh, best to build this in a cave or whatever. Uh, you could still build it in a house too, but it'd take a lot more resources to actually make it look nice. Or, I, I don't know. Uh, you can make this however big you want, so it would depend on how big you make it. That would use more resources. So this is a pretty basic size right here. Holds a lot of stuff. So right now, uh, we're going to put in the carpet. So we're going to dig out the floor. I'm just going to dig all along, and then you have to take out the blocks underneath the chest, because you can still see those. Still look like grass, so right there it would be like that, because you can still see it. So we're just going to dig this out. And right here at the end, you're probably going to want to have this probably one or two further back. So I'm going to make it two more back, just in case. So we're going to... Dig a little bit further, and then we're going to dig out under the chests. Uh, it doesn't matter if you break one accidentally under it. You're just going to put some over it. So, there you go. And after this, we're going to put the carpet in. It's going to look great. There. So, we do that, and then we just fill in the bottom. And then we can just do a straight line so it's easier and quicker. There we go. Uh, brown sheep are actually pretty hard to find, so if you're wanting a brown floor, you're probably going to have to have a farm, some cocoa beans. So you might want to have that before you build this. So, yeah. And it's a good thing to live by a forest, too. So you can get all the wood to build it. Live a good life, yeah. So there, the floor is done. It looks pretty good. Good. Now something we're going to want to do is we're going to want uh, a lever. I have a lever right here. We're going to want to put that at least right there, so we can get rid of that now, we'll only need one. And we'll need a current, so I'll flip this on. There. And here's what we do, we uh, build a roof. I think, yeah, we're going to have to have it like that. So we're going to have to build a roof right like that. Uh, you don't need it on the sides, but I just put that there, so. Let's see. We're going to uh, just build straight right there. You don't want any blocks. You're going to want stairs so you can actually open the top one. So right here at every uh, 
log in the side of the wall, you're going to uh, want a redstone lamp. So I'm going to put that there. Uh, put that one there. It's every two blocks. So we'll do that. There. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, dang it. There. That looks good. One more. There. Those are the lights that you're going to be using. You could have one there. I'm just going to put that there. Then we're just going to want to put wood around it. And we're going to put crafting tables in too because we need crafting tables. Crafting storage. Because you don't want to be running all over the house to find a crafting table. So we're going to put a few crafting tables in here. So it's going to be easy so you don't have to run around. They're going to be everywhere. So there. There's a roof for the lights. What you're going to want to do is get the uh, signal to come up here. So you could just do this. And then right there on that one. And then after this you're going to want repeaters at every one. So, so there's a delay. It actually looks a lot cooler when you do this. So Now we put redstone in on the light so it actually turns on. And in between every one you're going to want to make it a delay of three ticks. So we do three on every repeater. Uh, yeah, repeaters are like a while to make, so this will probably uh, take a while to set up. You're gonna have to have stone, redstone, and then torches. So then once we put this in, it's a uh, timer. So there you go. Turns on like a line of lights. So what you're gonna want to do next is get some stairs. Let me get some stairs. Where are the stairs? There's the stairs. You're gonna want to put them on. Just like regular stairs, not upside down. So, therefore, you can actually open the chest and it actually still looks like part of the roof. So, we're going to do that. Looks good. You know, no one's going to see it from the outside unless you're on a multiplayer server and it's like outside. So, there's that. Looks pretty good. And what we're going to want to do next is we're going to want to put some uh, crafting tables in, in the center of these. So, that actually looks pretty good. So you can do that. There's crafting tables everywhere. You won't have to run around or run across the room to get it. So you put them just right there in the center. Or I was thinking earlier today, uh, you could just have it a crafting table, then a furnace, a crafting table, then a furnace. You just repeat that pattern, or you could just have all the furnaces at the back. So that's the basic uh, storage room. You flip the lights, it turns off really nice, like a long hallway it lights up in a certain pattern. So there's that. Let me turn the lights back on because it's getting dark. So that's the basic storage room. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, favorite, subscribe. Anything you want to do, it's all appreciated. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye.